the city is really cool. I mean, I told my wife quite a lot about it, of how exciting it is to, to move here. And she, she's seen it for two or three hours where we've bounced around a few apartments. And she's like, wow, there's this and there's that. It was fun when people say, what are you here for? I'm working at Chattanooga Football Club. Oh, CFC. And you see people walking the street with a scarf on or a hoodie or something. So that, that community there was good. The setup of the stadium, the fans, the way the games are broadcast, all of that is, is huge and attracted, uh, like attractive to the players as well. So I definitely think having that and maybe the style of play that we were developing and continue to develop, those two merged together really help us. Playing here in the fall, the community feel of the club, um, playing in the stadium with the fans was, was quite an exciting experience as well. It was an actual atmosphere, which maybe you don't get as much with some of the lower levels. So to be part of that and on the, I guess, the good side this time of it, last time we were in front of the, the noisy, rowdy ones that we weren't quite as welcome with. So to be part of that is excellent. The infrastructure behind the club as well and the city of how it's kind of all growing together. I think being part of that is huge. <laughs> We got on very well and we shared, I guess, a lot of similar ideas and he had some things that definitely helped me learn and I had some things that were maybe different to what he'd seen before. So the combination of those and I guess both having learning mindsets really helped us get along and kind of see a, maybe a bigger picture of what we were trying to do with a football team. So I would take some parts of the sessions. Um, I would lead the set piece, pieces. Uh, I did a lot of the video work and the, the performance analysis and the same with like the key performance indicators so I will track those and kind of give that feedback to him and then also what I see in the game I think it's good to challenge the head coach a little bit and have him challenge back sometimes and sometimes it's good to support him. I think as a young coach I was especially being around other maybe better coaches that I wanted to give the correct information so I wanted to be sure when I was speaking up or saying this so that kind of led me into evidence-based coaching and key performance indicators. I developed an expected goals model in about 2014 which was kind of early before it came a little bit mainstream now I think it's in the media and it's on I think even FIFA has it so I had kind of my own model and that led to some of the other chance creation stuff some of the other questions were like, well, if I'm wrong about the shots, what am I wrong about as well? So I kind of opened up the bigger picture. So the last few years I've been adding that into the coaching of whether it's how teams attack or how we do set pieces and then how we defend and really, so we have now a list of key performance indicators that go all across the field that kind of link to, not necessarily how you should play, but how you should play can kind of link to them. So it's not a specific robotic way of playing, it's we want to achieve this, this is a way of, of doing it. <laughs> For soccer wise I think obviously a high level of technique and the ability to learn is important, players to be able to execute under pressure. Um, we all know players that can play well in the park but when you get out there in the lights and you've got screaming fans and drums going it can be a little bit difficult so players that can, can pass the ball under pressure, receive the ball under pressure, finish under pressure is important, players that can press and kind of adapt to the game as well. There's not maybe specifically a set type of player, but players that are open, that can play when they're in the centre of the field, that can play when they're outside of the field, um, can adapt and understand it, the principles that we want rather than what do I need to do in this position, what do I need to do that in that position. I think culturally they've got to be a good person and they've got to care about the teammates, the, the, the club, the community. I think that has to be reflected as well. I think the culture, that's something that's attracted me to the club, so making sure the players and us as the staff have that culture is important as well. Having the correct fitness levels for the style of play is important, so at the start of the season, that pre-season gets players in shape for not running a marathon, but running to play how we want to press, how we want to play. That helps them, same with, I guess, the players, knowing them individually, what type of, I guess, physical athlete they are, helps. <laughs> Lots of goals, ideally. I mean, attacking possession style soccer, I think Rod's talked about it before, of us having the ball as much as possible. Um, pressing is important to the style of play as well, so successful pressing, successful possession, and then leading to, to some high quality chances. So a lot of that exciting area of the field of having the ball in the attack, but also some good play, some good passes, some good kind of setup for it as well. <laughs> <laughs>